2020. It's still here. It's still here after all these years. So, as you've seen in that last video, the remarkable plow just started working. Um, I got this thing in the summertime. The, uh, as you probably already know if you were watching, the uh, ignition itself, something screwed up with the wiring. And also there is no fuel tank in it because it rotted right off. But I got this turned out to be free after I did the entire uh, house clean out and yard clean up um, from an older lady that was sick of uh, looking at all the crap. The, uh, you remember the little Ram 50 that came with it with a bunch of other stuff, but by the time I sold everything, I uh, kept this around because price of scrap cars is uh, really low, so put it online for sale back then and uh, seen if, <clears throat> oh man, it's hard to talk, 2020 makes it hard to talk, but uh, yeah, everyone kind of came and did the old, you know, you know how that's all about. Uh, the main issue was um, the plow itself did not move at all. Uh, I messed with it. Some people gave me some tips on uh, on the comments there, and uh, I checked some things on it. It's got this uh, Fisher external uh, pump here instead of having the one, you know, the old fashioned that runs off the motor, and. Uh, didn't move at all now it did make a noise when you hit the controls inside you could hear something you know making a noise like the pump was trying to work but oh, yeah, I just just noticed got some sort of a little block heater but um, yeah but just nothing moved so I, I you know don't mind that fluid right there I just spilled that myself, but, um, so, these pumps are very expensive, even, uh, to buy a used one, so, um, probably would have to be rebuilt or something, um, but, so, then it started snowing, and I said, I had it in the backyard, I said, you know what, got like a plastic edge on it plastic cutting edge so I could just drag this thing around and at least uh, I was just uh, gonna park it at the end and then when the plow leaves that big bank I could just you know at least push it back and, and uh, save the save the snowblower and my back itself uh, you know the thing is uh, got excellent traction and four-wheel drive with the tires and everything that are on it so I figured I'd just drag the blade back and forth, it's better than nothing, but as you can see, I, uh, I went into one of the snow banks and I noticed that the blade turned a little bit, so I just hit the control and it, it angled the other way, and then, so anyway, sometimes it goes, <clears throat> it goes up, you know, it comes a good, uh, four inches off the ground which is all you need and then you know you can put it up and down but then other times it doesn't do it seems like the pump itself is uh, a little tired or something but um, the other problem is it just uh, sometimes it, as you could uh, notice it just cuts out just all of a sudden so um, checked everything and checked all my connections and everything looked good but um, so anyway I decided uh, it's a kind of a nice day a little warmer it's a little uh, it's like 
it's like uh, 30 degrees or something today. So I figured I'd mess around. I filled the carburetor up with uh, sea foam I had laying around and let it sit in there. And then when I fired it back up, it was uh, running smooth again. But it started, uh, started running really shitty when I was using it the other day there. Um, you just go to give it gas and it's like it wouldn't didn't have anything there. So I don't know whether the carburetor is a little gummed up. Sat for a long time. But this thing's going, you know, it's this was uh, just a yard plow. So it's life. It's only got, you know, 44,000 miles on it. <clears throat> but everything works in it. I put all the lights came on and plow lights and and uh, all the lights on the dash, the heat works, and radio works. The brake pedal's right there, which is weird from, you know, how rusty it is. So, not a bad little plow rig when, uh, when the plow itself works. So I decided to come out today and make a couple of upgrades. Basically, uh, with the ignition the way it was, I had to um, bring the... A wire up off the starter solenoid and I just had that coming here and then I had this cable coming off you know where I would just touch it to start it and then I had to um, I wasn't getting power to the coil so I had to make a little jumper wire so that's the way I would run it and that was basically just to show people that it ran and you know if somebody wanted to buy it I could fire it up and you know they could do all their switches and stuff after but so I decided to uh, take a look around the shop and see what I had for some stuff, some wire and stuff. And basically, uh, this is what I did. You know, sometimes it's fun to uh, just kind of rig something, you know. I guess uh, you could call it the redneck sort of way. But, um, you know, yeah, if this was... Uh, you know, a nice vehicle I was going to use and drive around. I mean, I could could have took, taken the time and, you know, mounted some uh, switches nice in the dash, you know, and everything like that. But uh, I just wanted a simple way that I didn't have to get out and uh, restart it every time it stalled. So I just, uh, this switch right here turns on the coil. And then obviously you got the starter. So, <clears throat> yeah, you just flip the key forward. I don't know why you still have to have that forward. It doesn't make any sense, but you do. Um, switch that on. So, nice little simple way, just uh, like I said, it's not the right way to do it, most people would say, but, you know, it's, uh, it's sort of fun sometimes just to have something like this you really, you know, only care about a little bit, just uh, make it good enough to work, you know, and then uh, you can plow the driveway and have a nice old time. And then after it's dead, you just scrap it. And of course, like I said, there's no uh, fuel tank at all in it. Um, and uh, just for the purposes of running it, you know, in case somebody wanted to buy it, and uh, see the engine run, I just put this little, uh, used to be a kerosene tank for an old uh, furnace. So I just rigged that to the grill, and uh, this is this is an oldie, so, you know, it's got a carburetor, and it's got a mechanical fuel pump, so it's kind of nice. You just I just ran the hose right off of that, a little filter there, and right in there. 
holds a couple of gallons. It's uh, this thing doesn't use much, just putting around here plowing, so works out good. But you know, if the thing, um, if I got the plow working good and everything like that, and uh, decided to keep it around for another season, I might take the fuel line, you know, and run it back and just uh, you know put a little little fuel cell or something in the back there wouldn't be hard to do that way you would have uh, more in it I just uh, pulled the plug for the uh, fluid reservoir and uh, it was a little bit low so I topped it off I don't know if that's gonna make a difference uh, I lubed everything up let the uh, main piston soak in PV Blaster, you know, done everything really besides, you know, take that thing off and just start ripping it apart, which would do me no good right now. So, give it a shot and uh, see if the plow is going to work today. Not doing anything. That's not good. Not doing nothing at all. So, now it seems like that solenoid right there is just clicking. So, that's great. So that's what you get. Do a little bit of work, you know. Put a little bit of work into it. A couple switches. Try to make it good and... Uh, now the plow doesn't work at all. Seems like it needs that solenoid. So, you know, it's uh, times like this, you know, maybe you've been down this road, but you get discouraged. You know, you think you got something good going on for a second. You just can't win. Thought, uh, 2020 would um, be a little better. Turns out just a number. Doesn't mean anything. Well, hopefully uh, 
this was uh, of some interest to you, and uh, I think that's going to do it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, as always, you know, I appreciate you watching. Uh, it really helps out, you know, if you feel like uh, putting the thumbs up, or uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, if you feel like it, stay up to date, you know, if not, no big deal. Maybe this will be the year for you. Maybe I'll see you on the streets.